Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be building the Lego Star Wars Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. Now this set contains 215 pieces and has a retail price of $30 and includes a whopping 9 Lego figures. You get 1 Shock Trooper, 3 Plain face, two troopers, two battle droids, and three super battle droids, which is just really cool to see. You also get a tri droid here, as well as, as a speeder and command post, and a little stap. And just the box art, you have a nice background of Christophsis. Taking a look at the back of the box, you again get some more images of the set with the Christophsis background, and just overall is a pretty cool set. Taking a look at the minifigures and starting here with the clone troopers, we again get this really nice shock trooper that was first seen in the Coruscant Guard gunship. And then we get three regular phase two troopers, which is really nice to see since we haven't seen these again since 2014 with the clone turbo tank microfighter. Overall, I think these minifigures look pretty nice. I just wish they didn't have the helmet holes on the side of their helmets. But besides that, I think they looked they look pretty good. And then taking a look at the battle droid side of things, we again get three super battle droids, which is really nice to see since we haven't seen them. Again, I think might have been 2014 too. I think maybe 2015, I think, since we've seen battle droids. But still, it's been a super long time since we've seen super battle droids. And then we also get two... Regular battle droids here, which are just pretty standard. You usually get two battle droids in sets, but this one does have the little clip on the back to hold the blaster as well, though. And then taking a look at the builds here, we'll start with what I think is probably the worst part of the build, and that is this little speeder here. Just overall, it's just kind of simple. I'll probably try to make it a little better to a few modifications to it, probably make a video on that in a little bit as well. But overall, it's just not all that great, but you can add your minifigures to it. And when you do that, I think it looks a little bit better, still definitely just, it's just kind of simple and small. It's really not the, probably not the worst speeder, maybe it is the worst speeder design, I don't know. Probably the four plus speeders are worse than this, but still definitely be wanting to improve it, but I guess I guess it gets the job done. It's just really not all that great of a build. Next up is this little turret here, which overall is pr pretty nice. It's definitely not too complicated, but I think it gets the job done well. You can just place your minifigure in front of it like that, or you can also take your blaster and just hook it on the back as well, just like that, to hold it in. I do have a Stud shooter, I apparently I didn't put mine in, but you know, you can just fire the stud shooter like that, and it works pretty well. What's also cool is that you can remove the sides of the defense turret here and use them for shields for your clone troopers. The final item that you get for the Republic side of things is just this little box that holds some thermal detonators inside that you can put on the tri droid. And then taking a look at the Troy Droid here, this is definitely the best model in the set, the best build, and definitely the best Troy Droid we have ever seen. You can turn the head up here to look all around. You can also shoot off the flick fire missiles just like that. You can pose the legs if you want in various different positions. And also, if you rem if you remove the little light gray dome from the head, you can see a little pink piece representing the droid's brain inside. And then last of all, you get this nice little stap for your battle droid overall. I think it looks really cool. Definitely could have used some stickers to give it some Separatist logo on it. I think like right here, here, wherever the Separatist logos are. I think could have just added a little bit more detail to this. But overall, it is a really nice stap. It looks like I kind of bent that, but there we go. Now it's been too much the other way. Anyway, anyway, overall, I think it looks really nice. It's nice, again, that Lego includes the little clip to store the blaster on the back. And overall, definitely a really nice stat build. So overall, I think for $30, this Lego set is definitely 
a really great set to pick up either if you're into army building or you just want to have a few clone troopers and battle droids or just have a nice fun set to create a nice battle scene i think this set is just really great provides some really great value for your money so anyway that is just my review on this set and if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a like and please consider subscribing and anyway until next time thanks for watching and have a great day bye bye